my name is Nay. If you're new, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. So today's video is going to be a morning routine. This is my 2018 new morning routine that I've been sticking to for a better me for this year. If you guys want me to do a night routine, I can definitely do that for you. Just definitely let me know or give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the video. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over the part where I fake sleeping and go ahead and jump into my morning routine. So obviously I wake up and I like to make my bed just because it sets a really good intention for my day. A fresh made bed always puts me in such a good mood. And then I will head on over to my windows and get some fresh sun in. Opening up your windows again sets your mood for a great day. Then I will head on over to my closet where I put on my workout gear, whether I am practicing yoga, strength training, or running. This particular day I was running, so I went ahead and put on my running gear. And then I will head on over to my coffee station. The coffee that I use is the Trader Joe's Medium Roast. And of course, I use my Luke Steiner mug. If you guys want it, I will leave it linked down below. You're welcome. I take my coffee with some coconut creamer. I like to shake it up, shake it up, and pour. I always like to drink my lemon water with my coffee just so that I can get some hydration in as well while I'm drinking coffee. And then I like to go outside and read. So these are the two books that I'm currently reading. I usually read a fiction book and a self-help book. to my meditation. I like to meditate with the app called Headspace. This is totally not sponsored. I recently just started this app and it's really helpful because I am a beginner when it comes to meditation and just having a meditation session right in the morning is a really great way to clear your mind, clear your thoughts, and again, set your intention for the day. to my desk and I will fill out my bullet journal. The bullet journal that I use is the Dingbats bullet journal. I'll leave it linked down below again for you guys and my bullet journal video up on the screen if you want to check it out. But I like to fill in my mood tracker as well as my habit tracker. Bullet journaling has been a really great creative way for me to keep up with my habits for 2018. I put things in there like my workouts, meditation, flossing, dishes, just random stuff like that. And seeing it overall and filling it out every day is a really fun way to make sure that you are creating really great habits for yourself. Then I will head on over to my kitchen and I make my running smoothie. I make this every time before I run and sometimes just for fun. So I'll put in a ton of spinach, um, a frozen banana, some almond milk, and I'll put in a scoop of the Vega One protein shake. Um, it's vegan and everything. And then I'll put in my green superfood by Amazing Grass. This stuff literally has so much packed into it. It's amazing. And you don't even have to worry about getting your vegetable servings because this smoothie is literally just filled with vegetables, but it tastes like chocolate and it's amazing. <laughs> back over to my desk. This is where I set my intention for my work. I will look up some inspiration, read some emails, and just check overall stuff and set my day for what I want to accomplish work-wise. <laughs>
outside and run whenever I get the chance because I live in sunny Florida and it's beautiful weather here. During the summertime, it's just insanely hot. So having this really nice cool weather has been amazing. And there's my boat right there. See that big boat over there? That's mine. And then I will just do a nice jog. Obviously, I did not bring my camera when I was filming this. I filmed this after, but look how beautiful it is where I run. It's just literally insane. I absolutely love Florida. It's beautiful. So like I said, I really like to track my habits for this year, and I've been tracking my running on the app called RunKeeper. Again, not sponsored, but I've been running 5Ks pretty much every other day or every two days. I like to track my running here on this app. It's just been a really great app to track my running. After my shower, I like to make some breakfast. I have some oatmeal with some cinnamon, some flax seeds, almond milk, and of course, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I'll pop that in the microwave for about a minute. I know the microwave is not that great, but I was in a rush this morning. This is a really great meal post run because it gives you so much energy and it's like full of carbs and protein and antioxidants with the berries. So if you guys catch anything here, let me know down below. But um, now this is like when I usually go on social media, I'll go on like my Instagram, my Twitter, which I post like a ton of motivational quotes. I love Twitter. I'm literally obsessed with it. And then I will also go on some Snapchat. I love Snapchat. Snapchat's so much fun. <laughs> Follow me if you guys aren't following me already. And then this is like when I usually get ready, I'll do my hair. Usually I just blow dry it and straighten it. Sometimes I'll throw some curls in there and then I will put on my makeup. So the foundation that I've been loving is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And then I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I'll go in with the Brow Mousse as well. I'll usually just like frame my eyebrow and just fill it in naturally. I like the natural look. And then I'll go in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and kind of just frame my face. I'll use the Becca Sun Chaser palette as like an eyeshadow base, and then I'll use the highlighter as kind of like the thing that makes it pop. I'm obviously not a makeup guru because I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Then I will go in with the Maybelline Nudes palette, and I use like the darkest color. It's literally like jet black, and I'll just use it as like an eyeliner. And then I will curl my lashes, throw on some mascara. I use the Better Than Sex mascara. And then a lot of you guys ask me what lip color I use, and the one that I've been using in most of my videos is the Wet n Wild um, Bear It All. I love it, it's super natural, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you want me to do a night routine, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys all in another video soon. Bye guys.